All right, we just finished the Chet Lanzo 33 cabin. I think it came out pretty nice. We didn't get out and do some flying. All right, took me quite a while, took five months, but that's because I took my time. I have lots of play and so I really enjoyed the build. Now it's nearly the beginning of flying season here, but I still feel like doing some more building. So I'm gonna do one more project, okay? Now I had great success with the Black Bullet, which is a low wing design. I mean, that thing just flies fantastic. So this is another one I've been thinking about for a long time, all right? Came out in the plan page years ago. It's called Earl Stahl's Hurricane. Very well known design, all right? Nice looking plane too. And uh, you can get the plan from OuterZone.com. You can get it from the plan page com. You can get it from Bob Holman. That's where I got this from. Bob's plane is huge. He has a front view here, full front view. Uh, it's really, really nice, okay? I also got the short kit from Bob as well, all right? So it looks pretty straightforward. The wing has nice structure. It's got top and bottom spars. That's great. Should be nice and stiff, okay? And it's got some under camber. And you know, I've had no problems whatsoever getting the Mylar to stick to under camber with the Yuhu glue stick. And it hasn't pulled off at all, so that's not a problem. It's 31 and 3 quarter inch, just about the right size for kind of what I want to do, all right? Um, I think I'll make the wing come off the same way I did the other time with the bullet. I'll just make a compartment. I'll probably cut it and make this compartment removable. It's got a 12 inch prop shown on the plan. I actually already started that because that's my least favorite part of the building process. So I like to do it first and get it out of the way. It looks like it'll also take my P30 uh, half tube here. Okay, it's got the right length and it looks like it'll fit all the way in. So that's really nice because I like winding outside of the plane. There is a slight typo in Earl's name here. It's HL, not LL. Okay. It's also got a lot of nice fun stuff on the side here. You can read about the power and the building. So this really looks like a lot of fun. All right. So I think we're going to get going and uh, get down to some building. All right, so I'm working on the hurricane, and here's what I have done so far, okay? I'm also working on the prop a little bit. Now on the wing, as I've mentioned before, um, <clears throat> you have to shim the trailing edge a little bit so that it stays in with the airfoil, and I shimmed it about a 32nd. But what I want to mention here is in this one, it curves up on the bottom in the front, too. So I also had to shim the front, the 3 sixteenths, okay? So I actually had to shim that about a 16th, all right, to make sure I get the right airfoil. The other thing I'm doing a little different is normally, like on the Pacific Ace and those planes, they have very light wing structure, so I, I use pretty hard leading and trailing edges. But here, this has a lot of structure, so I actually tried to use a little lighter leading edge and trailing edge, okay, in order to save some weight. All right, so we'll get the wing done and uh, get the rest of the structure built. All right, so I'm working on props for the Hurricane here. Okay, it has a 12-inch balsa prop. And uh, I had a nice one that was very high density bolts, about 15 pound. And to be honest with you, that's what I like. So I finished that one, okay? So because it was high density, I sanded it very thin. And then you just put on two coats of dope and you're done, all right? Total weight of that was uh, 5.8 grams. Now, just to give you an idea, that's pretty damn light because if you have the peck here, here's a nine and a half inch, that's 6.7 grams. Here's a nine and a half inch orange. They're a little heavier at 7.2 grams. And if you took the same size, a 12 inch orange, that's 12.1 grams. All right, so 5.8 is very light. And you know, I really wouldn't try to save weight on props. You really want strength, okay? Now, all the other blanks I've had, the more recent ones are much lower density balsa. So this is actually was a hurricane blank, okay? But it was only five pound balsa. So what I do in that case is, you leave it a little bit thicker, even though not much, I still like to do it thin. But then what I did is I doped on fiberglass cloth, both on the front and on the back, okay? And that greatly strengthens it. So then I put a couple of coats of dope, all right, on it. And it really makes it a lot stronger. Now, even with all of that, it ended up weighing 4.7 grams. It's still about a gram lighter than the other one. And when you change props at the field, you gotta remember that, all right? I've actually had to add nose weight on the Lanzo, so I like to make the props a little, little stiffer and a little stronger, okay? And the weight is incredibly light anyway. So we have two props, all right? I'm gonna probably use the Hurricane prop here. And uh, we got the stab done and we'll get back to building. The Hurricane, we're finally ready to cover, okay? Now on the front I have a gizmo nose button and one that'll take a 16th inch music wire, all right? I did the landing gear in the usual way where it just plugs into the bottom. I had to build it out a little bit. 
Okay, and then I have it held in place. On the, the wing, I did the mounting exactly as I did in the black bullet. There's two nylon screws. You can adjust the incidence if you want. And then I made a little kind of like box there. That's where the equipment goes. It's a pretty tight fit right now, but if I have to increase or decrease the incidence, I could just sand a little space in the bolster there. For the canopy, uh, I'm sorry, for the cockpit, I didn't use uh, the card stock, all right? I've had bad experiences before where it got a little wavy after I doped it. So I just used bolsa on that, okay? Uh, I was able to put the rear pin as shown as located on the plan, the rear peg, and uh, because there's plenty of room for my half tube, which is really, really nice. All right, so we're ready to cover this. On the rudder, what I did is I put on the bottom a strip of a 32nd inch bass because it tends to get sanded on the AstroTurf and this strengthens it a little bit. I didn't do cardstock for the headrest, uh, so there I just made it out of very light balsa, okay? On the props, what I like to do is I like to mark the uh, type of prop it is and the uh, weight on the bottom. So, you know, if I need a little extra nose weight or a little less nose weight, I could just change the prop and use a heavier or lighter prop. Uh, the equipment's there, you can see, ready to go. Total weight of that, as you see it there, is 6.7 grams. So, you know, with the battery, we'll be a little over 8 grams uh, extra, okay? I hate adding the dead weight, but what can you do, all right? So I'm going to cover it as I did before, third of mil miler on the wing. I like that it's nice and tough. I'll use a quarter mil on the stab and the rudder. And as usual on the fuselage, I'll use poly span light. All right. So I'm going to get cover in here and get back to work. All right. The Hurricane, all done, ready to go. Really nice looking plane now that I see it, you know, live in person. So we got the uh, servo in there, you can see in the wire going out to the switch, okay? The equipment's in the bottom of the wing, you can't see it. I have it on, so here's the rudder. And you can see we got nice throw, all right? Wire bends a little, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I think it'll work fine, okay? So we also got the front end here, all right? And I really like the way this free wheel worked on the, uh, you know, the Lanzo. I mean, there's no pressure on the prop. It just spins like crazy. Free wheel's nice. Also keeps the rubber, you know, snug so you don't get any flailing around or bunching. Really, really nice. So I did the same thing again on this. Okay. Uh, got the windshield on. I'm a little worried when I hit the trees that'll get knocked off, but we'll see what happens. All right. Now, according to the plan, it says here that the estimated weight is uh, three plus ounces, which is 85 grams, basically, okay? And uh, mine, without the equipment, came out to 74 grams, all right? So that's why it's important to try to keep it light. Now, with the, I'm sorry, it was actually 76 grams. Now, with the equipment, you know, pretty much all up ready to go, except for the battery, it came out to 84 grams, all right? So we're still a gram under what it says on the plan. And then the battery is going to be like 1.4 grams, so we'll be just around 85. And again, that's important for good flights. Okay, so we're going to get out and do a little trimming. I'll uh, make up a motor. I'm probably going to do 12 strands of an eighth, probably 20, 22 inches long, somewhere around there. We'll see how it works. All right, so we're going to get out and get flying. All right, 200 hand lines. Very nice. go. Beautiful. <laughs> nice climb. Wow, this flies nice. <laughs> Looks good. Well, I haven't done anything, I'm just watching. Hey, these birds are buzzing me.
beautiful. Ooh, good looking plane. Beautiful. Very nice. Whew. Boy, if there were thermals around, this be gone, but it seems like there's nothing but sinking air. Looks nice in the air. Beautiful plane. All right. <laughs> now this is fun. 